How come you so nice? Maybe you too nice. <laughs> Sophia is one of the most iconic roles in America's cinema. By the time me and you was introduced, tell them who I is, hi, folks. <laughs> uh, well, uh, Pa, Grampy, I want to introduce y'all to my girl. <laughs> this here, Sophia. She will not come for you unless you come for her. A lot of women. You seem like trouble. Now, I come here out of respect, but if there ain't nothing to get, that show ain't nothing to get. Hell no! I like that message that Sophia brings. You can say hell no. Hell no. Hell no. Hell no. Danielle Brooks. My God, young lady. It is wonderful to see you again. Yes, it's good to see you again. I love your background. Well, thank you, Queen. Thank you. Uh, so we just gonna jump right into it. You have stepped into the iconic role of Sophia, created by the producer of this show or this film, Oprah Winfrey. I think what you've done is you've taken Oprah's original kind of foundation with the character and elevated it. Talk about the preparation, because I know you played this character on Broadway as well, so you've been sitting with this character for a minute. It's just, just a, a matter of you fine-tuning it and just like, you owning this thing now? <laughs> I think you've hit everything on the nail. I mean, it's truly what I've tried to do. I feel like, you know, Miss Oprah, what she did was create one of the most iconic characters in American cinema. And she lit a fire. And I just came in with some more fire fluid or liquid fluid. I don't know what the stuff is called. But I just came in with a lot more heat because she left a great foundation. Um, yeah, man, I, I have been cooking and chopping the vegetables and adding the seasoning and, you know, marinating the meat of Sophia for a very long time. I did not know that it would manifest it in this way of doing the movie, um, but it did. And what else has grown besides working on the character for so long is I've changed too. You know, I'm a mom now, I'm a wife now. Um, I've gone through a lot more experiences through whether that be personal, pandemic. Um, you know, it's been a lot of changes in my life. And so I just wanted to add all of that into Sophia and make sure that I also call on the ancestors as well. And this is what we got. So thinking about some of the iconic roles, of course, your stuff, you know, your work on Orange is the New Black, uh, you know, Peacemaker just recently. It's you continuing to pile up not just credits, but like credits in quality work. Thank Talk you. to me about when you're reading screenplays, what's the decision like and what motivates you to kind of take on a character? Thank you, sir. These are really good questions. I think for me, it's opening the box. Like, I don't know. The box for black women, specifically plus size black women, has been so limited. We just play the funny, sassy big woman or, you know, the downtrodden woman. And I really wanted to open that up and show people the humanity of who we are, that we too can be sexy, that we too can be superheroes, that we too can be leading ladies, as I did with Mahalia. There are different things that we can do. And I want that box to be open for whomever comes behind me and whatever they wanna do, that they can explore that as well. And the studios and whomever know the value in who we are. All right, so uh, they're telling me I'm running out of time right now. Aww. It's a shame. Danielle, I, I've, you know, we, our paths have crossed. I'm sure they're going to continue to cross. This film is going to take you and this cast to places this in the next several months. You're going to be surprised. And remember, you heard it from me. Yes, sir, I will. I will not forget. Thank you so much. Continue success. Thank you, sir. I appreciate Thank you. you. I really do. All righty. 